Good morning. I just wanted to talk a few words this morning about what it is to be a shepherd. We've heard a lot recently about shepherds, and of course, as the Christian year progresses, we shall hear more of it. The imagery of shepherding is woven through our scriptures and our faith, and the way of Christ is largely predicated on shepherding. In a way, this is an odd thing, because we also use the idea of people being like sheep, as being a derogatory thing, don't we? We don't like being called sheep because it suggests the unthinking following of one another or of the lead sheep or of indeed of the shepherd but somehow of stupid animals following something else blindly. And it's the unthinking bit that we don't like. None of us wants to be known for our unthinking and blind following of anything, let alone another sheep. Yet in Christian terms, there is really no suggestion of a lack of thought, and I really don't think that Jesus felt we are unthinking dullards at all. I think that the real un is not unthinking, but unknowing, and there is no shame in ignorance. Ignorance can bring with it fear and doubt, especially ironically when spiced with a little thinking. We only have to see the rubbish that comes out of Facebook and TikTok to see what happens. When an idea launched upon the world is a few facts mixed with a lot of ignorance and too much time to think. I have recently been working as a volunteer at Salisbury Hospital in the vaccination centre. It's nothing glamorous, I'm not giving injections or even explaining to people what they're getting. That's left to the medics and those who know about such things. Now, my co-volunteers and I are acting as shepherds, nothing more and nothing less. We meet people as they come in, we get them to fill in forms and we escort them, we guide them around the centre until we send them home again. Of course we meet all sorts of people from the high and mighty to the lowly and humble and I've even met one or two high and humble but they all have one thing in common, they are unknowing. When they enter the centre the people do not know what to expect they don't know where to go, or when to go, or even whether it will hurt. Most people don't even know whether it's safe. And in truth, we explain to them, neither do we, but it is better than COVID. What we can offer all the people, though, is shepherding. We will lead them and guide them through the process to make known the unknown, to bring light to their journey and thus banish their fears as far as is possible. We won't ask them to think but we won't stop them thinking either. We ask them to sign a consent form, so in that sense they do have to think a little bit about what lies ahead, but mostly we tell them, we accompany them on their journey. It seems that being a shepherd is largely about accompanying someone else on a journey into the unknown. We hear often that Middle Eastern shepherds lead their sheep rather than drive them. The sheep are led and accompanied into the unknown rather than driven into it in fear. And this is really the essence of being a good shepherd. Christ himself does not drive us into the unknown, however good he promises it to be. He leads us on. Lead, kindly light, lead thou me on. When I meet people at the hospital, I cannot know what they are thinking, but I can have a pretty good stab at what they don't know. Thus, I am there to lead them. And this is clearly seen sometimes when I say to someone, Go down there, up the stairs and turn right. And I can see from their face and faltering steps that that is too much. So I end up saying, follow me, or come this way. And off we go. Of course, there are good shepherds, and there are really good shepherds. When I meet someone, I always call them sir or madam. Too many years in professional service industries, I'm afraid. But when the nurses meet someone, they find their Christian names within seconds and they use them thereafter. And I'm reminded of the scriptural phrase that the shepherd knows the sheep and the sheep know him. It's fine following me who calls you sir and madam, so much better to follow a friend who knows your name. I'm glad that I volunteer at the vaccination centre. It's a genuine help to the work being done there and a genuine help to those who attend. We manage to vaccinate around 400 people each day in the centre and I think the hospital has two such centres. But with around 60 million jabs to go, we need all the help we can get. But mostly I'm glad I volunteer because I've learnt much more about being a shepherd. 
And in doing that, I've learned more about Jesus, and that's never a bad thing.